Hello, how to make a sourdough starter with unbleach all purpose flour and tap water. Today is day two. Of making sourdough starter and that's the starter day one we walk around five in the morning so now it's 3 56 in the morning and we are going to feed the sourdough starter so yes you feed it every 24 hours but it doesn't have to be exactly every 24 hours Do you need to store your sourdough starter in a airtight lid container? Not necessarily. If that's what you have, you can use it. But I just like to leave it loose. You see, it's now really close. So that air can go in a little bit but we like to cover it with a tower so that we keep bugs out so if you have insects around you just want to keep them out and you want to keep direct sun light off of it as well so it's good to put a dish tower on it and by the way we sell cloth napkins at ninassoup.com if you are looking for cloth napkins And that's day one sourdough starter. So what kind of containers can you use to store your sourdough um, starters? You can use what you have on hand. You can use glass jars. You can use glass balls. You can use cookie jars. If you have plastic containers, you can use them as well. So what size container or jar should you use to store your sourdough starter? I would suggest you use four cup size. So this is four cups. So you can use four cup size. Or uh, the minimum will be three cups. Don't go lower than that. And if you are using a jar, I would suggest you use wide mouth so that your hand can go in when you want to clean the jar. It's easier on you than, than something that is small, that has a small opening. So any jar you can put your hand in will work. We are going to use all purpose in bleach flour. So first we will take the starter and we will stir, stir a little bit. You can see. And what I'm going to do is I will scoop half. So, what are sourdough starter ingredients? You need a half because that's day two. We need a half of the starter. Then add a little bit away. And you pour that in the clean jar. 
you need a half cup of tap water or any water you want to use. So what kind of water, what type of water should you use to make your sourdough starter? You can use tap water. You can use filtered water or bottled water. If your fridge filtered water, you can use that as well. So what at what temperature of water should you use? Or should we use cold water, warm water? What kind of water temperature should we use for sado starter? I would say use room temperature water. And this is kind of warm, but since it has not been used for hours, it's going to come out room temperature. A lot of time when I'm going to use a mixed dough, I like to move it up because that's cold, that's hot. So I like to move it up. And usually the water that will come after now using it for hours will be on the cold side. So the water will be, you know, I will just say room temperature water. So pour half cup water on your starter and now you need one cup one cup of all-purpose on bleach flour it's good to use a table knife to scrape it I'm going to do it about this so that it does not. And that's just some bleach flour that I have in the ice cream in the ice cream container. That way I won't have to use flour from the bag. But I'm keeping this one for the starter, so that's why it's still in the paper bag. So let's take a look. You'll notice that it's now really full, full, full. Again, I don't like to measure things exactly, you know, so uh, it works. Pour the water on the starter, half cup starter, pour the flour on that water and stir it together. By pouring the water before the flour, you will be able to mix it easily. So, what are sourdough starter ingredients? Half cup water, one cup flour, can you use um, bleach all purpose flour to make sourdough starter, yes you can, you can use um, bleach all purpose flour to Make sure those starter. You can use on bleach all purpose flour to feed sour those starter as well. And we have videos on how to use all purpose flour to make sour those starter and we use bleach water flour and I will put the playlist in the video description in case you have bleach flour you can take a look at that video the process the ingredients are the same it's just the flour is different but the measurement you will use is the same the process is the same and you just make sure you have all your flour mixed 
mixing I almost drop it it's good to do that above the table and when you are done just push it in And it's good to use a glass jar if you have it because it allows you to know where the flour, the mixture is after you mix it. So that's one cup and that's two cup, two cup, one cup, and that's one and a half. So it's like 125. 1.25 cup if I'm saying it well but that's that where the mixture is we are going to close it but not tight so how do you store your sourdough starter on the counter. You can put your sourdough starter on your counter, on your kitchen counter, where it's not going to be moved around during the day. You just want to leave it somewhere it's going to stay. And trying to keep it away from direct sunlight. For that, you can just use a cloth napkin or a dish towel to cover it and at the same time it prevent flies if you have some in the house to get uh, in the jar what do you do with the sourdough discard you just put in the trash It has been at room temperature for almost 24 hours and it has not fermented yet. So therefore, using this for cooking, I don't think it's safe. So, I don't use it. I will just dump it in the trash and wash my... Thank you so much for watching. I'm Afiavi Lieberman, Credos of Lebanon Consulting LLC YouTube channel and Nina Soap that come our blog. We will have the articles in our blog in case you wanted to see the pictures and the images, they will be there. So thank you so much. You all that subscribe to our channel, we thank you very much for all your comments. Thank you very much for watching our videos. Thank you for your time. So on our channel, we share different ways you can save money and different ways you can make money to reach your financial independence. And by having sourdough starter, you can make your own sourdough bread and sourdough pizza, and it does save you a little money by making those things. It does not save you time, but it allows you to know what you are putting in your food because you are making it from scratch yourself. So if you want to make your own bread from scratch, you want to make your own pizza from scratch to make the pizza cross, having a sourdough starter is you know, a good way to make your own pizza or bread without ease. And by not buying ease, you save a little bit of money. Money you can put towards something else. 
that you do not make or you have to buy and also when you don't find it on the in uh at the store you can still bake if you want to bake so and not having is to add to your grocery list that's one thing you cross off of your grocery list and that's something you don't need a shelf space for either so thank you so much for your time